Hi everyone, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. If you did not subscribe this channel, please click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon to get the regular updates from this channel. So thank you for watching. Please like, share and post your valuable comment. Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss about the tool nomenclature of the single point cutting tool. So this is the diagram of the single point cutting tool. So let's see the definitions of the shank. Shank is the body of the tool, base, bottom portion and flank, major part that faces the workpiece. This is the major part that faces the workpiece. This is the tool axis. It is the cutting part, shank, minor cutting edge. So this is the flank, this is the minor flank. Major cutting edge, major flank. This is the top view of the single point cutting tool. This is the face as we see above and this is the shank. This is the side cutting angle. It is the angle between the base of the single point cutting tool and the face. The end cutting angle. It is the angle between the face and the normal to the base this is the nose radius then come to the side view side view this part this is the plank and this is the bay back rake angle this is the lip angle and this is the end relief angle. It is the angle between the normal of the base and the flank. This is the side rake angle and side relief angle. The nomenclature of the twist drill. This is the twist drill. It consists of a neck. This is the flute length, the length uh, which has the rough threads. This is the lead of helix. This is the helix angle, angle between the axis of the tool and the helix. This is the detailed view of the twist drill. This is the drill axis. And this is the tang. This is shank. This shank part is fixed in the spindle of the machine. This is the overall length. This is the body of the twist drill. This is the flute. Flute is the curved portion of the twist drill. This is the land. Then a twist drill cross section is taken. The distance between the cutting edge at the corner of the cutting edge and the axis is called the land. Chisel edge is the angle. It is the angle of the chisel edge. This is the chisel edge angle. And uh, side view. Distance between the two ends of the twister is the diameter. This is the end of the tool to the uh, push point. This is the flank. It is called as flank. And this is the point angle. 
Chiselage corner, also called as the dead center. This is the helix, top of the crystal. And this is the rake angle. Then tool nomenclature of the milling cutter. This is the diagram of the milling cutter. Here this is the cutting edge. These are the cutting edges. This is the body of the cutter. Root diameter is the inner diameter and outer diameter is there from the center of the cutter to the outermost point. And this is the fillet or the root radius. This is the back of the tooth. The front portion is called the face of the tooth. The gap between the two cutters is called gash or chip space where the chip has been uh, taken from the tool to avoid damage to the tool. And the angle is the primary clearance angle. This is secondary clearance angle. The top part of the cutter is called this the land. This is the relief angle. This is the lip angle. Length of the cutter. Teeth. Lip angle. And this is the sloping part. This is the direction of the rotation. Radial line. This is the tool depth, this distance between the outer diameter and the root diameter or inside diameter. This is the nomenclature of the milling cutter. Then types of cutting, orthogonal cutting and oblique cutting. In orthogonal cutting, the cutting tool is in 90 degree to the workpiece the workpiece is rotating the cutter is fed at 90 degree to the workpiece this is the cutting edge feed is given to the left side the workpiece is ro rotated the depth of cut is given here the workpiece is rotating feed is given to the left side here the cutting edge inclined at the at this angle with the direction of the feed at the uh, cutter is at a certain angle while cutting the teeth you will see a inclined portion this is called the oblique cutting so thank you for watching if you like this video put a thumbs up and share like and comment this video thank you for watching